Okay, so in this video, we are going to start working on user follow and unfollow feature in our application. So let's go back to the browser. And one of the pro one problem that we had before we start working on this feature is that we can't navigate to other users' profile page. So let's quickly do that. So let's go to the text editor. Uh, before we do that, actually, let's create a git branch. So git checkout um, dash b, and then we're going to call it follow unfollow. All right, so let's go to app controllers, users controller. And we do have show action. So let's quickly check the routing config routes.rb and if you look at the user we do have show so let's go to let's make this username a link and I signed out and I sign up as a new user and so I'm currently signed in as a new user I named it stormtrooper so let's go back to the home page and we should probably make this a link as well. So let's first make this a link to this user's profile page. So let's go to at views posts underscore post and instead of just username we're gonna make this a link. So link to post username post user. Let's go back and Refresh. So if you click on the page, you can go to this user's page. And I noticed that we have to hide this edit when we're on other people's profile page. So let's go to at views user show.html.erb and wrap this link to with a helper. So current user question mark and then passing the user and I forgot if there and I don't think we have this helper yet so let's go to because this is going to come in really handy I'm going to add it to application controller so controllers applications controller.rb and we're gonna make um, here current user question mark take in a user and just check current user dot id is equal to user dot id and we're gonna make this helper so that we can use that in the view templates as well. So current user. All right. So this current user method is given by divides gem. So we'll just compare the ID of the current user and user.id. And because we're going to call this, we should First, whenever we call this current user, we have to check if the user is logged in. So let's go back to at views post post.html.erb. My bad. It was at views users show.html.erb. And then whenever you call this current user, question mark method. You first check if user is signed in and if if users signed in you can check if the user at user is the same as current user so let's go back to the page and then refresh and you're not going to see the edit on other people's profile page so that's perfect so let's go back and then make this a link to the home page. 
So that's under app views layouts application.html.erb. And actually, that's in the header partial. So app views layouts header.html.erb. And we're going to make this a link. So link to my app root path and class All right, let's go back and refresh the page all right so this is a link now and you can go to other people's page as well all right so let's commit that All right, so we can now start working on our follow and unfollow feature. And I've been kind of skipping writing tests in the last couple of videos, but because this feature is one of the core features in our application, I'd like to write a solid test suite for you know following and unfollowing other users. So let's go back to the text editor and then I'll just cancel these tabs. All right, so let's write a feature test. So we'll we'll follow this inside uh, outside in testing. So we're going to write feature tests and figure out what kind of methods we have to implement in the model layer and so let's start from the outside. So let's write spec features and I'll call this follow unfollow users underscore spec dot rb and as usual we'll require rails helper and r spec and we can call feature um, following unfollowing users all right so we'll write our scenario and signed in user can follow and unfollow other users all right so first user have to sign in so let's create a user object so let's let user and I believe we have a factory. Let's double check spec factories. Yep, we have factory user. So uh, let's create this user and username and I'll call this uh, Luke Skywalker. All right, so let's name this guy Luke. And we gotta you we gotta create other user solo. And let's create that user user username on solo. I think that's how you spell his name. Not too sure. All right, so let's sign in as Luke. And we have this method because we created a helper. If you go to spec support features sign in dot rb, and we have this sign in method. And it does all the signing thing. So 
we can just say sign in Luke and let's visit user path passing solo and let's make sure if this test is working so expect page to have content content solo username all right let's run this in our from our terminal our spec spec features follow all right let's run that all right so it's passing so we know that these two lines are working so let's delete this line and we'll say click on we'll, we'll make a button and which has a text that follow and expect page to not to have button follow and expect page to have button unfollow. So this test is gonna fail right now because we don't we haven't implemented this buttons and unfollowing and unfollowing features yet, but we'll expect this page to have a button follow with a text follow and if we click on that it's going to follow this user so we'll have another button with a text unfollow and we're not going to see this follow button after clicking on the follow button so that's what we want so this is a good start so let's make sure that it's failing let's run this test again and it's testing unable to find link or button follow so let's just create that at views users uh, show.html.erb and so let's make this button if user signed in and current user so if this is not not current user page will show we'll just add a button follow let's run the test again and expect it to find button uh, not to have button so that's good this is exactly what we want 